we give you the praise we honor you we adore you we glorify your precious holy wonderful name Yahweh we glorify your name thank you master in Jesus precious name amen please be seated in the presence of the Lord and very very quickly we'll receive a charge and then proceed into praise Psalm to worship Psalm 30 verse 1 I will extol thee, O Lord, for thou hast lifted me up and hast not made my foes to rejoice over me. O Lord my God, I cried unto thee and thou hast healed me. O Lord, thou hast brought my soul from the grave. Thou hast kept me alive that I should not go down to the pit. Sing unto the Lord, O ye saints, and give thanks at the remembrance of his holiness. For his anger endureth but a moment. In his favor is life. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. Very quickly, I want to speak on the subject, the redemptive power of worship. The redemptive power or the rescue power of worship. The redemptive power of worship. There is a power to rescue lives. Power to redeem destinies that is located in worship. Some time ago, a lady testified of how in the midst of a forest of kidnappers, she sang and listened to the song, You are always there to help me. And was rescued supernaturally. You remember the testimony. What is that rescue power? That redemptive power? Number one. Worship. Is key. To supernatural lifting. That is. You are down. Your worship lifts you. It takes you up. It is both spiritual and physical. When people come to church and they say they were feeling down before they came, they, they, they are lifted. It's a super, worship is key to supernatural lifting. Two. Worship is two. For the frustration of enemy expectations. Your worship frustrates the expectations of your enemies. He said, you have not made my foes to rejoice over me. I will worship you. First, you lifted me. Why? And next, you have not made my enemies to rejoice over me. I speak to someone here tonight, your enemies will not rejoice over you. Number three, worship is tonic for health and wholeness. I cried unto thee, and thou hast healed me. In your worship is your healing. In your worship is your deliverance. Thou hast healed me. Number four, worship is key to rescue from premature death. Rescue from premature death. He said, O oh Lord, thou hast brought my soul, brought up my soul from the grave. Thou hast kept me alive that I should not go down to the pit. You kept me alive. You brought my soul out from the grave. King Hezekiah was meant to die and when he offered God worship, 15 more years was added to his life. Is key to rescue from pre mature death. Finally, worship is key to the establishment of joy after the night of weeping. 
weeping may endure the night, but joy cometh in the morning. Worship is key to the establishment of joy after the weeping of the night. Weeping may endure the night, but joy comes in the morning. I came out this evening overwhelmed with the fact that the season of COVID is not just going to end in an explosive revival, but explosive celebrations. Explosive joy. It's our year of supernatural lifting that is drastic, dramatic, and dimensional. The dramatic part is ending. The dimensional is starting. We have something very, very unusual, abusual, unnormal, supraordinary. Get set. It is an explosion. Stand up on your feet and let us step into worship.